Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we will discuss raster sampling processes in ArcGIS Pro. In this video, I will talk about the resample function. We have already discussed two of the techniques in a previous video. Here we will talk about the other two. What are they? How and when to use them? Resampling can change the pixel size or the resampling type of the raster data or both. When working with multiple raster data set with different projections and map resolutions, it is important that we resample the data to a common resolution and projection system. That's why we need this tool. Now if we go to Analysis, Tools, Toolboxes, Data Management Tools, Raster, Raster Processing and then select Resample. Down here under Resampling Techniques there are four options. Among these four, Bilinear and Cubic are best for continuous data such as elevation, rainfall, temperature, etc. To learn about nearest and majority, please see the link below in the description. In this exercise, we will be using the elevation data from the northern part of West Virginia. We will start with bilinear. Bilinear resampling technique uses the distance weighted average of the four nearest pixel values to estimate a new pixel value. It produces a smoother result, although remember it alters the original reflectance values of the pixel. Let's go to this tool, select our input data and an output data set. Select the bilinear technique and hit run. Here is our result. As we compare it with the original DEM, this is the original one and this is the bilinear one. You can see that the reflectance values have changed and it has become much smoother. Let's try the cubic one. Everything same, change the name of the output and change the technique. Now cubic function feeds a smooth curve for each pixel calculated from the values of surrounding 16 pixels. This produces the smoothest image but remember the values can go outside the original range sometimes. Also, it can take longer to run. Let's hit run here. And here is the result of the cubic technique. Let's see how it looks compared to the original DEM. Here is the original one. And here is the cubic one. As you can see, in this particular case, the values remain the same and it has become smooth and definitely the reflectance values have also changed. Although we don't see a lot of differences when we compare it with the bilinear one. This is the bilinear one and here is our cubic. To recap, in this video, we learned about two techniques of resampling the raster data, bilinear and cubic. We have compared both results and we have also discussed pros and cons for both of them. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. So, subscribe and ring that bell.